the Africa which we confront in, uh, in your performance is an uh, unreal, phantasmagoric place. We've got a well-known writer and reporter, Wyszyk Kapuściński, yes, uh, and he wrote a book about Africa, and the title of the book is Ebon. Yes, I read a long time ago. My, on my first travel to Africa, that was Ghana, that was in... We are now talking about 2000, I think, the year 2000, yes. and then I read Kapuscinski, and I thought it was brilliant. So it's it also, it's, it's also um, okay. uh, f but of course it's a whole different er area, I mean in time, than, than yes. when I went. So it's his, the, the Africa he describes is like now the romantic idea that we have, because it's not existing anymore, I think. Tell us about your dream, your own Africa. Maybe uh, you can find the metaphor and symbol, you know, one, three words that can name this area, this, this place. Yeah, I, I can't do it in a, in a few words, uh, definitely hope. not. But it's, I think it's, um, um, we project a lot on this continent, like a lot of fears, a lot of our desires are projected in this continent because it's um, something very different from what we know, so it's, it's a very welcome um, uh, like, a, like a, a paper that you can draw your own fantasies on. And, uh, and when I left for Kenya the first time, I was not even 18 years old, so it's like you want to, you come out of school and you want to start living and you think, okay, I'm going mm -hmm. to do it there because then it will be possible. Um, I think that the, the, the performance tells a story, the difficult and sometimes problematic road on how to, um, to find a way to deal with the other. Oscar, can, can you say that uh, this piece is uh, autobiographical? It is, it is very much so. Yes. Um, but not everything that I say is true. But I think the themes that I that that the, the play deals with, um, exotism, uh, loneliness, is it is the word in English? Like feeling lonely. Um, those are those are real uh, themes that that I had to deal with when I was in Kenya. And I think this is a very good way to represent those problems. But of course, we made a theater play, and we made it more dramatic, and we made it sharper than, than maybe the way I would express to you now. I need to ask you, why did you go to Africa? And why, why did you go back and back and come back to, to this land? Um, why wouldn't you want to go? For me, it's a very logical step to go. Maybe coming back <laughs> is sometimes more complicated. But because everything is different and you learn so much about yourself and it's a very big kick to try to see how does this work, how do people talk to each other, how do they relate, how do I get around and if you, if you start to know how it works, it's a big kick. But when you are in Kenya, are you still an artist? Are you still an actor or no. you are just other person, you, you just working and yeah, exactly. you just f forgot about living in Belgium and not completely acting. now it's more in now the last few years it has been more crossover yes. um, uh, I still answer my emails yeah. and sometimes I pick the phone mm -hmm. in both ways mm -hmm. when I'm in Belgium I call to Kenya when I'm in Kenya mm -hmm. I call to Belgium so it's more and it's, it's also good because it was becoming almost like schizophrenic uh, it's two completely different lives, mm -hmm. but it's very nice to when you play a show. Um, it's, you work very hard for it. It means a lot to you, and, and performing is a very intense thing. But when it's over, it's over, and the next day it's gone. It's, it's a memory, and it's gone. And you can have 60 good shows and one bad one. After the bad one, you go home and you feel like, what am I? I did six performance, but tonight was shit. Well, I don't have anything that I can like uh, rely on. But when I'm in Kenya, I have a project. We've been establishing it for a few years now. We plant trees. That's what we do. We have a 
root plantation and the trees. There's, there are two different types, Jamilina and Borea, which is boutique uh, uh, wood, and then um, there's the eucalyptus, so some of the different varieties <coughs> of eucalyptus. So, um, and those trees, they're there. Every year when I come back, they're bigger and, and yeah. they'll still be there for many years. Mm -hmm. And even if we do the first harvest, they shoot back from where we've planted. And so it's a, it's a long term investment and it will be probably there for 20, 30 more years. And now I'm also in this performance front and that we will be showing later this week on the festival. And it's, I think it's a very special performance. But in 10 years, it will be available. And, uh, and uh, the project in Kenya will still be there. So it's, it's like an anchor in this, as being an artist, I have something to fall back on and that, that uh, gives me roots to the, to the ground. It's, it's, uh, so it's, when I, I always feel very much like rehearsing when I come back from Kenya. It's like the battery fills up again.